Hello everybody, welcome back. Welcome to another Freebie Friday. Um, as you can see, I do have a little bit of a different setup. I want to try um, try something different. Um, it does get a little um, chaotic when I have all the challenges placed out over you know the table. So I did purchase these envelopes, which um, they have the pocket in the front and they also have the holder, um, the envelope part, and they've got the dividers, which I think does help. So I did purchase these for my binders and I'm gonna see how doing it this way does, if it helps um, or if it's just easier to do it the other way. I do wanna say, hi, my name is Kim and this is Star Budgets. I'm a zero-based budgeter seeking financial freedom from myself, my husband, our children, and our grandsons. And we'd be honored if you consider subscribing. Hey friends, so I wanted to go ahead and insert this clip because I keep forgetting and I need to release this because tomorrow is the first date of using it. Um, I, this is my November uh, group play challenge. So I am doing something different this month or this time. I am doing a November only. So the last two group plays I did were for two months. Um, I have something that I want to do specifically for December, and this was specifically for November, so it worked out pretty perfect. So this is my November group play challenge, and it's called Friendsgiving Mind Match. And basically, it has 20 words here that are associated with Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving, you know, friends, etc., so there's five Saturdays in November. So each Saturday, I'm going to use my 20-sided um, dice to pick, randomly pick the words for that week. I'm sorry, I'm trying to film holding the camera um, so I don't have to set everything up. Um, but so there's gonna be four words picked. Your job that week is to look at the word and think of either a phrase or another word to go along with it. So I'm just gonna give an example. Um, let's say the first word was budget. So your job in the space is to pick a word or phrase that goes along with budget, but you are trying to guess what my answer is going to be. If the first word was budget, that week you pick your answer. And then the following Saturday, before I pick the next four words, I will go through and write my answers down. So you could pick your answer. Um, say you think I'm going to put budget babe. That's what you think. And then that Saturday, when I think of it, I may put budget babe. And then you get it right. Or I may put budget friendly and you get it wrong. So you're trying to match my answers. You are to pick however much you want to save for each match but I picked how much you save for if you don't match. Of course, obviously you don't have to save. I picked $5 for you to save if you don't match my answer. Obviously, if that's out of your budget, change it, make it 50 cents or five cents, whatever. Um, I just thought it would be fun for you to pick if you match, but for me to pick if you don't match. So each week you'll have four words and the Saturday before is when you'll find out what words um, are for that week. They're called match words. So if I hope it's, uh, I hope you understand. All the instructions are up here. This is currently listed and available in my Kofi shop, which is down below. I'll have the link to my shop and the direct link to the listing for this. It is free for you to download and print. Um, I did get some happy mail. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to throw it in real quick. So I received an email and it's from CBA Mom Saves. She so kindly, um, I'm trying to take the paper clip off, sorry, sent me some freebies and um, challenges and I'm so thankful. So I was, I forgot to um, show this last week or the week before and incorporate this. So um, I don't care if it's Halloween, I'll incorporate it in December. So these will, these will show up, um, not this week and next week, not today and not next Friday, because I've already filmed those, but um, the following Friday. So the first Friday in November, basically, which I think is the first. Anyways, sorry. Um, 
So she sent me these amazing challenges. So we have regular and then we have some minis. And here's some more. And I will have her linked down below. So y'all go check her out. And then also I received an email from the fabulous Miss Jo at the Still Trying Mama. And Miss Jo is all the way in Singapore. Uh, so she um, sent me or emailed me these and um, there's quite a few. Her, she created, I can't remember because I can't pull up the email, but she created some and then her daughter Fafi uh, created a set, I believe. But um, let me see. I'll, I'll try to remember. I'll, I'll write it on the screen because I'll be able to look it up. But um, this is the Build Your Own Squirrel, which is cute. I want to play that. And then we have Which Couch Potato Are You? I am any couch potato with my phone in front of me. And then we have these challenges, Hocus Pocus, Abracadabra. I know Fafy, Fafy did the sloth ones. Okay, I believe. Yes, that's right. Fafy did the sloth challenges. So there's Millionaire Slothy, Mr. Slothy and his clouds. Save 100 with Mr. Slothy. Save 50 with Mr. Slothy. And then here's these beautiful flower ones. And then these animals. Blueberry. How cute. I grow Ella ferns. The best hugs in life are hedge hugs. Oh, that's so cute. So thank you so much, Miss Jo and Fapey and CPA Mom Saves. And I have one more thing. So I am a member of Miss Jasmine at MS Mom Budgets, her um, monthly Kofi membership. And she did send me the membership freebies, and she um, she was affected by Hurricane Helene, and they were without power for quite a while. So she was a little behind on sending out um, my October set, but she sent out October and November, which I absolutely love. They're cute little um, scratch-off challenges, which are perfect. So I will find a way to incorporate these into... Um, Maybe I can do, maybe I'll do them in a freebie Friday. They'll be the little scratch-offs. So thank you so much, Jasmine. And I will have, like I said, everybody linked down below. Sorry for rambling. Back to the video. One more thing. I'm so sorry. I forgot to um, say this when I filmed the, um, showing you my November um, group play challenge. But I am running a sale, a trick-or-treat, a spooky sale right now. And it is for 30% off of certain items in my shop. So that's kind of like the trick and the treat. The trick is you don't know which listings or items are able to have the sale price. But the treat is, is if you picked an item that uh, the code works for, you get the treat of 30% off that item. So the code is trick or treat 30 and I will have all this down below in the description box the link and the code and um, it is from now until uh, November 1st so for in honor of Halloween I'm doing a spooky sale a trick-or-treat for 30% off specific items only in my shop so if you wanted to grab anything hopefully what you were wanting is one of the items that the code will work for. So we have my binder here with the 10, well actually now there's 12 envelopes, so I do have 12 challenges. So I have uh, $70 in ones to play with today. And I think what I'm going to use is, I'm gonna use a six sided dice instead of the four sided dice. And let's see how that goes. And I'm just gonna roll it and then put the money here and then flip. And then once I'm done, we'll start uh, from the beginning and I'll pull the challenges and we'll add the money. And I will tell you where all the challenges are from as we're going through them. 
So we start off with challenge one, and it gets a one. Two, gets a six. Three, gets three. Four, gets five. Six, gets one. Seven, gets four. Eight, gets five. Nine, gets two. Ten, gets four. Eleven, wait, gets three. Hold on. Maybe I messed up somewhere. The next one gets four, and then twelve gets one. I only have twelve. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't know how I did that, um, but I was off on my counting. So let's see. One, two. I just have thirty-one dollars. So what I'm gonna do is I'll get my twelve-sided dice. And we'll do $2 per roll until we get to the last three. And then we'll do $3 for the last roll. So number eight. So that's six, seven, and that's eight. So eight gets two, four. So that's one, two, three, and that's four. That's six, five. Six, two, eight, so that's six, seven, eight, twelve, seven. Three, four, four, eleven, four. Last three go to three. All right. So challenge one, which is my spider savings challenge, and it is one of my freebies for the month of October. And I will have the link down in my uh, in the description for my Kofi shop. And it got one. Each spider is worth $1, so we'll mark off one more spider. So the total saved is one, two, three, and four. And I'll just put this here and then fix it afterwards. Save time. All right, challenge two is this Hello Kitty challenge. And this is by, hmm, goodness, I don't know. I don't know who this is by. How sad. Um, I do have this Hello Kitty challenge. And so each Hello Kitty is worth $1. Today we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we can color in eight kitties. All right, so there's our eight colored in and our $8 saved. And if you know who this challenge is by, or if this is your challenge, please let me know. Um, comment down below so I can give credit. Next challenge we have is this Christmas challenge by Elma Crafts and Budget. So each Christmas ornament is worth $1. So today we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we only need $2 to complete. 
All right, so there's the last two ornaments colored in. So we saved 10, 11, and 12. And we'll add a dollar, ring the bell, and add a dollar to our ding, ding, ding. And the next challenge that I have is going to be this challenge by Saved Money Saved you, Saves You, and it's a Christmas gingerbread challenge. So each gingerbread is gonna be worth $1. And today we have one, two, three, four, five, and six dollars to add to it. And we'll just go ahead and mark off, let's get mark off eight, or six gingerbreads. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, next up we have this happy birthday challenge and it's by Windmill Ridge Budgets and more. So we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, five, seven, seven, uh, one dollar spots left. But today we saved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Wow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Here and let's color in the last few one dollar slots or spots, excuse me. All right, there's the last seven spots colored in. Sorry, and so total saved was 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 29. Let's ring the bell. And add our dollar. And the next challenge I have for this one is this It's Your Birthday. And it's by Everything Kendra. A Everything Kendra 36. It is it says roll and save, but I don't do roll and save. Each balloon will be worth one dollar. So today we have one, two, three, four, five, and six dollars to color in six balloons. All right, there's the six balloons colored in and the $6 saved. Next up, we have this challenge by Two Sister Bees and each symbol's worth $1. We added $1 today so we can color in one more symbol. All right, so we colored in the last symbol. We'll add the dollar. So total saved so far is 20, one, two, three, and four. Next up, we have this, hallow this set of Halloween challenges, and it's by Elaine Realize. So each reindeer is worth $1. Today we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we only need one, two, and three to complete this challenge. So we can mark off these last three reindeer. Excuse the kids. And we saved $5. that there ring the bell and add a dollar and that's our last dollar here so let's exchange the tens for the ten and put these back here all right and then we have three dollars left for the next challenge so each snowflake or snowflake cookie is worth a dollar. So we can cross off three cookies for three dollars saved towards the next one. Next up, we have this set of mini challenges by Heather at General Charm Budgets. So each candy is worth one dollar. Today we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We only need three dollars to complete this challenge. And let's color in the last of the three candies. All right, last three candies colored in. So we saved 10, 15, 16, 17, and 18 dollars on this one. That one was a good one. Put that there. Ring the bell. Add another dollar. And this was uh, 
the Ding 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 was created by Donna, powered by creativity. And the next one we have is this little hedgehog challenge. So we have one, two, three, four left. So we'll color in four leaves. There's the four leaves colored in and the $4 saved. Next up we have this as bright as a star challenge by Mama Spicy Savings. So each star is worth $1. Today we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we only need five to complete this challenge. And let's color in the last five stars. All right, there's the last five stars colored in. Total saved is 10, 11, 12, and 13 to complete this one. And because this is the last Friday of October, I did add um, a little more, a little more um, to how much we were adding, saving this week because I wanted to make sure that we completed as many as we could. And the next challenge, well, it will come apart. I am doing is this Merry Christmas challenge by Cash and Color Budget. Each um, hot cocoa cup is going to be worth one dollar. We have one dollar left, so we can mark off one cup. Next up, we have this challenge. This is Christmas Savings by Dawn's Sunrise Budgeting. So we have one, two, three, four. So let's see. And we don't have any rollover. So each spot has a denomination, circle has a denomination between one and th four in it. Today we saved one, two, three, and four, which is perfect. So we can mark off a $4 spot. And total saved so far is 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Next up, this is a new challenge. And it is I Can See You Save $30. And this is by, oh no. Oh, it's right here. Uh, Heather, a General Charm Budget. It's one of her freebies. That's right. So each circle is worth $1. Today we have $3 to color in three circles. And there's our three circles colored in. Almost done. And next up, we have this challenge. And this is just so pretty. I had to add it. It's by Plan to Save Designs. And look how beautiful these are. Oh, so pretty. Almost too pretty to, to write on and color on. So each box has, it's either four, two, three, or one, and total saved today, or what we're adding today is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So what I'm gonna do is we'll save the uh, $2, we'll roll that over for next time, and we'll color in one $4 box. And there's our $4 box colored in. And then last but definitely not least, we have the Let It Roll by uh, On Saves. So today we're adding one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we can color in a six and a one. And there we go. Our sixes are way ahead, but that's okay. That makes me happy. All right, so total save so far is 50, 70. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 80. $80. Take that, get the 10. And there we have it. So today we uh, completed one, two, three, four and five more challenges. I don't have my big envelope with me. It's in the safe, so um, I'll have to get it. But well, thank you all for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I'm over 1470. So I'm, I think it was at 1474, 73, something like that when I checked. So I am about 25 subscribers away from 1500. So let's get there. Next month is my birthday month. My birthday is November 9th. So I will have Lots of goodies, giveaways, lots of fun things planned for next month. And I would love to do my 1500 subscriber giveaway in the mix of it. I hope you'll have a wonderful weekend and I'll see y'all tomorrow for Group Play Saturday. Bye.